little by little please add the red into the white color and see what happens if you feel happy with the background or no you need more color to add i'm okay with this i think it's nice doesn't need to make it lighter it's nice light pink color so i'm happy with this color so take your bigger size of brush and start apply on your surface I'm going to start with this part and try to cover the background with this brush stroke like, like an X. It doesn't need to be clear and clean. You can randomly add your stroke like that and even make a texture on your background like this. I make a texture and leave some heavy paint on my background because I love texture. And I'm using a flat brush because flat brush you can more control with the tip even you can use the tip of flat brush come close to the edge of the shape that you're already drawing and not go inside the shape but even if you go inside the tulips it doesn't matter it doesn't happen anything because uh, we will come on top and again add more paint on top and cover it tiny bit red really less red uh, sorry less red and more yellow because red is so strong I don't want to see huge change so this is orange if you use less red and more yellow you already can make orange we can mix it and put it aside if we need to use it so this is here and I'm going to start with, you can take it, mix it a little bit white because white is uh, opaque, it's not transparent. And when you mix these two together, help your yellow be more strong and be uh, more opaque than transparent. So start with this orangey color first. I take some, I'm going to start with this tulip here. With this part with on top, I try to cover with orange tone first, bring it down. I really love heavy paint because of that at the beginning, I take more heavy paint and try to make a texture on my painting. So I don't blend it a lot. I try to keep this texture on top be visible. 
Then switch to the red at the same time and start from the bottom of flower come up to cover the other side. So when both color be wet, they mix together very gently and give us a nice result. Always it's lovely to have a napkin in your hand and clean your brush with napkin, not with the water, because we would like to make heavy paint. We don't want to uh, use it as a watercolor base. We want to have our flowers be more thick, look like oil color painting. And then each time you want to switch the other color with this napkin, clean your brush. And I move on with this yellow for the edge of tulip to add one tone with yellow to cover it by this color. So we already have yellow, orange, and red at the same time together. Now pure yellow for the other side of the petals. I start with this part. Bring down. Even I can cover whole the two uh, petals by yellow because it's transparent. It's okay. And then move on with red. Red start from the bottom of my flower here. Bring it up a little bit. When yellow is wet, red mix with it and give me beautiful mixture like that. Very gently bring, bring it up. Turn your brush like that. So one stroke here, the other stroke from the bottom, bring it and then turn your brush, not cover whole the petals because we would like to keep this yellow be visible. Then clean your brush with napkin. With the white color, I would like to have it add into the yellow a little bit. Just the light I would like to make on the center. Just the light, bring it here. And clean it again. The, the top part, it's in orange. So I take my orange, add orange here, like that. And this part, like a diamond shape, it's in yellow, so I take yellow, try to cover this yellow. Put these two yellow beside each other. I think it's not nice. I bring the red and try to separate these two from each other like that. So orange, yellow, and a little bit red.
I don't want to let the flowers move on with just one color. It's better to have different colors. And I'm adding the yellow color on the right side. So I use heavy paint. Even when the first paint, which is orange, is wet, that's fine. You see here, I try to add, they mix together. Even some orangey tone is visible under it. So that's really lovely. And I move on with thick paint to let it be uh, visible here as a shine. And then take some more yellow for the other side of the tulips like this. The other is like these three are connect together. So heavy paint with yellow, just one or two stroke. See, just in a simple way, I'm not um, let it blend a lot. I just one stroke, try to make the shape of flowers. I try to add one triangle shape here, add a tone. We already draw everything, just try to add a tone here. And then a little darker tone here around, a little darker tone here around to the edge of petals. And then at the same time, switch to yellow because I don't want to make it just the orange. I want to have yellow on top as well, both in some stroke, some yellow and some orange, even for the other petals as well. So we can add orange on this one, orange on this one. Like I take orange, I try to add first here, all this part with just orange, I cover it. I know it's lots of light color should be on top, but first of all, I'm going with the orange. Then clean my brush, switch with the yellow and white, and add on top some brush stroke with this color. I want to have a blending between uh, yellow and add some orange on top here, bring down. Just with a bigger brush, it's okay to do that. Move with the orange color here on the edge and then move on with yellow. Add one stroke here and one stroke here. And I move on with the pure red color, take some. From this part of the flower, which is on the bottom part, I move on up with the red color, close to the orange. I'm not coming inside the orange. I just try to cover this part with the red, bring it up. And you can play with the tip of brush to cover the other side if it's visible with the other white of the canvas and then finish it like that. And you see if you're happy with this or you would like to add like light color here. I think it's okay, this part, but I would like to have one brush stroke with white, uh, with white and yellow and come here, bring it down. Just fade a little bit inside. <clears throat> then I'm going to cover a hole inside with this dark red. I said that my red is light, so I mix with a little bit brown to make it darker. So take this color and cover inside the flower. It shouldn't be really dark. It should be a little warmer than the red. So even we need to use some red inside and bring not just one tone, different tone, like the warm red and the pure red. So bring it like that, cover it inside. Make sure not to ruin the other part. Just Play with your brush stroke to be accurate and cover exactly the part that you want. And then we wait, everything get dry because I use heavy paint, so it takes time to get dry. Then I'm going to add the details with the black color inside. color which is a red and the red with brown that we mix already so I start with red color pure red color close to the orange I'm going to add this red 
very gently try to cover it inside, not to lose the shape and not to go inside the orange. And then start taking a little warmer color, which is the one that I mix with the brown for this section. And I'm going to use the tip of a flat brush to make it a little bit shape like that and blend a little bit more black color pure black color with the tip of this brush you can make narrow small details inside just a little bit blacky part we have inside the tulips it's like a small oval shape then with the tip narrow line you can make it like this it doesn't need to connect completely a little bit filling would be enough And for the other one as well, I prefer to go with the really heavy paint and make some thickness with this black color inside my tulip. Long oval shape. I'm going to start with lighter tone first. Cover the leaves with this light color. Try to add it so gently, not come inside the tulips flowers. Hold the leaves, especially this long one. I'm covered by light green color, but I'm not let it dry because I would like to bring a darker tone as well. So touch a, a brush of dark green, bring it on top. It's already wet so they can make uh, move to each other and blending together so you can see they are very nice color can make when they mix together and then try to go on back go on back and repeat one side is a little darker the other side is lighter so this is for the leaves because the shape of long leaves is like this and I can add a tone on the other one too. Again, with light green color, try to cover the other two leaves. The thickness, as I mentioned, it depends on you. If you like to add more thickness, you can add. And then please not let it dry. Take the darker green. The bottom of leaves, it's better to be dark. We need to make some depth in our paint fake. So I'm going to add some darker tone here under this uh, uh, leaves. Bring it inside. <music> darker add a little black into that to make it lighter for the light color we already have this green and we can make long shape of leaves so between these two flower i see a little bit darker tone so i'm going to add the dark green color first just try to add a tone here i'm not looking about the, any shape of leaves i just add a dark color here between these two two leaves so it's dark, even here is dark. I try to add a dark tone here a little bit more. Even we can use black to bring it the green darker and add some dark color here. So randomly you can add some dark even here. Just add some randomly color with this dark color, even some here, some here. I'm not searching for any sh specific shape. Just adding dark color here, dark color here. 
Then I'm going to add some light tone in between. So take the light green color first. For this part, close to this part of the flower, I'm going to add one C curve, nice and gently with this light green color. So it looked like a part of um, leaves. And then I'm going to add a little darker tone beside that, like that. So already make the shape of leaves like that. On the other side, which is close to this flower again, I'm going to start with the light green color. The top part, I try to cover a long shape of like that, come down because the shape of um, tulip leaves is long. So one C curve, I bring it down with the light green color. Still both sides are leave it like this, leave it with the background color. Just cover this part. And then on the bottom part, it's dark. So I'm going to switch the darker green and try to comes up. So one long leaf here, we can make it. Still a lot of part is just a background color, which is lighter than the light green I already have it. So it's more yellowy green and white green sometime so i make this one i would like to bring something like here it's so light make some shape to cover this part they are all happen randomly we don't need to exactly clear shape of leaves we don't need that because it's a bunch of green part here that shows these are all leaves together connect together so we can make it busy by some green color. So this is one shape that I'm going to add here. And that is lighter than the other. So it's a little different. And it helps use with the other. Would be okay because the um, stem for tulip is a little thick so with one color we can cover it and then we can switch clean our brush by napkin i recommend not to clean it by water because water make your painting so watery and look like watercolor if you want to keep it like this heavy with texture it's better just use the napkin for clean it and then move on with the lighter green for lighter green, I'm not covered from top to the bottom. I just add a little bit tone on one side like this to add lighter tone. And then clean it again by napkin. Move on with dark green color for the other stem. And start from here, for example. I see here I have one line and I need on this part here to add again I can come on top of this flower it's okay and draw one line as a tulip stem bring it down then back to light tone add one tone light here and one here light one side add a little light sometimes when the uh, dark color is wet the light color cannot sit on top so please add the dark color for your stem 
weight get completely dry light green color bring it in between and just adding some green tone to make the shape of leaves and then with the darker tone I'm going to bring the other side light and dark make my leaf uh, very nice and beautiful so with this kind of things when you add some green color on top as well you get right up a uh, really warm and red color so you can keep the balance which is so important in our painting and make it nice